Today we're going to have a look at costs and benefits in economics. Remember, most of these videos I'm doing are specific to OCR, um, AS level economics, but I'm sure they're equally equipped, applicable to a lot of the other boards. So what we're going to look at is basically six concepts, and these are private benefits and private costs, social benefits and social costs, external benefits and external costs. And you can see I've got all these on the board. You'll also notice that under each question, or each concept I should say, you've got a question. And this relates to a past paper, OCR AS level paper, that has asked this question. Now in the past there have been questions on all these topics, not many, but um, one or two at least, except for social benefits. Now there's been no past questions on this so far, but of course that doesn't mean we might not get one in the future. So why don't we start with private benefits, as you can see. There was a question on it in June 2007. Basically, private benefits are benefits accrued by the first person. Now, when we say first person, it just means the individual concerned. So, for instance, the benefits of me consuming education might be that I get a higher salary. So, that's a typical example of a private benefit. Another one might be if I consume some Coca-Cola, then the benefit to me is obviously the quenching of my thirst and the enjoyment I get from the product. So don't forget that. Private benefit, so private benefit is equal to social benefit minus external benefit. This will all come clearer as we go on to each concept in turn. If we look at private costs, well these are the costs to the first person. Cost the first person, now what do we mean by that? For instance, if I buy, for instance, a pack of cigarettes, the cost of the first person is the, the money that I'm having to pay because it only affects me. It's me having to pay for the product. The other way of thinking about it is that private cost is equal to social costs minus external costs. This will become clearer later as I explain all of them together. So don't forget, it's cost of the first party or cost to the individual concerned. External benefits. Well, what are external benefits? This is an interesting one. What is an external benefit, for instance, of me being having a healthy diet, living a healthy, uh, having a love, healthy lifestyle? Well, one of the external benefits of this is things that are positive but don't accrue to me as an individual. So, for instance, the fact that I'm healthy means I'm less likely to be off work. This is an external benefit, of course, to the employer. And we can see there, it's positive effects on third parties. Like I say, in case of me um, being healthy, the positive effect could be, for instance, on my employer, or the fact I'm less likely to need uh, care from the NHS or whatever. External costs. Really good example here of an external cost associated with smoking. If I smoke, of course, I've got the private cost. That's the damage to, for instance, my health, um, and, and the cost of buying cigarettes, but of course there's also external costs. A classic one with smoking is passive smoking. It's third parties being negative, negatively affected by my actions. Okay, so that's a really important one. Another example, for instance, would be my car use might have negative impacts on others, for instance, if they have to smoke in the exhaust, um, take in the exhaust fumes or whatever. So remember that, external benefits. Okay, um, and external costs. So for external costs, don't forget, it's social cost minus private cost. Or, social cost is greater than private cost. It's the difference between the two. If we move on, just moving across here then, to social costs. Social costs are easiest way to think of the full cost of an action. Because it's the private cost plus the external cost. And we can see that here. Social cost is equal to private cost plus the external cost. It's where all the impact is taken into account. So again, let's think of an example. Um, alcohol consumption. I have private costs, I have to purchase the alcohol. There may be external costs, for instance, um, if I got drunk, I might need uh, medical care, and therefore there's external costs of me taking a bed in a hospital and things like that. So it's the total cost. Remember that, the private cost, plus the external cost is the social cost, or the cost of the first and third parties. Remember, first party is the individual, third parties are people outside the decision-making process. Social benefits, like I say, no past questions so far. 
Well, social benefits is the total benefit flow of an action. So let's give an example. Um, if I consume education, I have private benefits to myself, higher salary, etc. But there are also external benefits. For instance, I'm likely to pay more taxation, which therefore can pay for welfare and defence and everything like that. So social benefits are equal to private benefits plus external benefits. Or alternatively, I can say benefits to first parties and third parties. So just um, to recap, these are six concepts that are really important. You need to know them when we're discussing positive, negative externalities, merit and demerit goods. Most of the questions in OCR appear in the, um, on the F581 paper and they tend to be the shorter answer questions, so for instance a definition. Just one last tip, if you get a definition question, even though well, they're worth two marks, um, two things really. One, the examiners really like it when you express things nice and precisely, um, such as this, private benefits minus uh, equal social benefits minus external benefits. But I always tell my pupils to put in an insurance point, okay? Perhaps you might get that wrong, or perhaps um, the examiner hasn't seen it or whatever. So always maybe think about trying to get three or four marks, even on a two-mark question.